on this episode of Gadget, we're bringing sexy back with the ReadyNAS Pro from Netgear. We'd like to thank our production sponsors, the University Catholic Center, the California Province of the Society of Jesus, and Gateway. Hello, and welcome back to Gadget at thetechstop.net. It's the place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Balliser of the Society of Jesus. I'm a member of the California province of the Jesuits. We're the largest religious order in the Catholic Church, and we're here in the Center for Apostolic Technology in Honolulu, Hawaii. Now, let's get right to the tech. We have a long history with the ReadyNAS line of products, from the NV+, which was in episode 3, the most watched episode of Gadget ever, with almost 1 million views and downloads, to the 1100. Now, these were created by Infrint, a company that was later acquired by Netgear, and Netgear inherited all that technology, they inherited a wonderful grassroots user base. And the question has been, would Netgear continue to develop it? Would they continue to foster that independent spirit, or would they lay back and rest on the laurels of Infrint and their technologies? Well, we've got an answer for that. With the Netgear ReadyNAS Pro. The Netgear ReadyNAS Pro Business Edition is Netgear's latest entry into the network-attached storage world. The Pro expands on Netgear's vertically expandable ideology of storage, letting you expand the array from a single hot-swappable SATA drive up to six drives in the RAID mode that best serves your needs. While the Netgear ReadyNAS Pro might look like a larger, darker cousin of the NV+, it's actually an entirely new beast. Opening up the left side of the unit, you can quickly see that Netgear has decided to up the firepower in the Pro by moving away from the power-efficient but slower dedicated silicon that drove the earlier ReadyNAS units and instead used an Intel Core 2 Duo CPU surrounded by 1GB of DDR2 memory with a second DIMM slot for those who want to tinker with more memory. The increased CPU power of the ReadyNAS Pro isn't just for the sake of spec. That extra horsepower really does make a difference in the way that the ReadyNAS Pro operates. File system checks that would take 30 minutes on an 1100 can be completed in 3 or less on a Pro. Array resynchronizations necessary after a loss of power or other RAID error happen in minutes instead of hours. In fact, there are no operations of the ReadyNAS Pro that are not faster than its predecessors. Opening up the right panel of the enclosure reveals the drive cage, SATA drive backplane, and mini ATX power supply. The back of the ReadyNAS Pro has two USB ports for connecting hard drives, flash drives, or printers, as well as two gigabit ports above the Kensington lock port. The power supply is internal and uses a standard power plug. Netgear decided to build two oversized fans into the ReadyNAS Pro. Their size allows them to move more air through their enclosure while spinning the blades at lower speeds. The end result is much less operational noise. Setting up the ReadyNAS Pro starts with an installation of your SATA drives into the provided caddies. These caddies are locked into the array via a button released lever, and they slide quite easily into and out of the unit. Our review unit came with three 500GB Seagate SATA 300 hard drives, but X-RAID will allow you to expand your unit as your storage needs increase. Simply slide in the new drive or drives, and as long as they are at least as large as the smallest drive currently in your array, the ReadyNAS Pro will automatically resize the array to take advantage of the new storage. This means that you could upgrade your array from 1.5 terabytes using three 500 gigabyte drives to six terabytes using one terabyte drives, all without ever having to power down the unit or copy any of your data off the array. That same technology will allow the array to recover from a bad or removed drive without any user intervention. With the ReadyNAS, it's automatic. The OLED screen on the face of the unit is actually a very useful tool. The screen gives you a tremendous amount of at-a-glance information about your array. It can tell you the IP address of your unit, the status of the various drives, any errors that may be logged, and the current actions being taken by the OS. The first time you power up the ReadyNAS Pro, you will be able to use the radar software to initialize the array into whatever mode best suits your needs. The Pro supports RAID 0, 1, 5, 6, and X-RAID 2, the dynamically resizable option that makes the ReadyNAS line so popular. The Pro will automatically detect how many drives you have and will give you options for the available storage. 
Once you've logged into the UI, you can control pretty much every aspect of the ReadyNAS Pro from date and time to the performance options, language settings, update services, power options, logs, and health screens. The menu system is intuitive, easy to navigate, and fast. You can easily switch between the network settings and the services tab, and everything is explained in semi-layman terminology. Speaking of services, this is one of the areas in which the ReadyNAS excels. You have your choice of all the standard file sharing protocols like SIFS, NFS, AFP, FTP, HTTP, HTTPS, and RSync, pretty much guaranteeing that you will be able to communicate with a pro no matter what computer or OS you're using. You are also provided with a plethora of streaming services like Squeeze Center, iTunes Streaming Server, Universal Plug and Play for Audio Video, and the Home Media Streaming Server. These services will allow you to stream your music, videos, movies, and pictures over your network to any connected and compatible media device, essentially turning your Pro into a digital media jukebox. Netgear has also integrated ReadyNAS Photos, which gives you an easy way to publish your photos on your Pro to be shared with family and friends over the internet. If I can up the UberGeek level just a bit, I want to point out two features in the Network tab of the ReadyNAS Pro. The first feature is the support of VLANs and Jumbo frames. The second feature in the Network tab is the support of bonding, or what Netgear calls teaming. Those two gigabit Ethernet ports on the ReadyNAS Pro can be set up in a variety of configurations. You can ask the Pro to adaptively balance traffic across the two ports to maximize transfer rates, or you can go with a round-robin scheme of bonding. You could also save the second port for failover, just in case you lose an interface. You choose according to your network setup and the level of redundancy you need versus sheer performance. Now to the ever-important question of performance. We found ourselves in a predicament in benchmarking the ReadyNAS Pro because of one simple problem. None of our testing gear was able to keep up with the sustained transfer rate of the Pro. Thankfully, Netgear continued inference support of the grassroots ReadyNAS community, essentially a dedicated group of the most uber of uber geeks, who are in a large part responsible for making the ReadyNAS as good as it is. One of the ReadyNAS beta testers, Alexander Liebau, benchmarked the Pro against a 10,000 RPM enterprise-class Western Digital Raptor hard drive. The Raptor is one of the fastest hard drives on the planet, and it got clobbered by the Pro. With the box still running beta firmware and without the teaming mode, he was able to get transfer rates in excess of 100 megabytes per second. That's 800 megabits per second, pretty much the maximum throughput that a gigabit Ethernet connection is capable of, and twice of the Raptor. In fact, he was only able to get these results because he used a 2 gigabyte RAM disk to supply the source data. A hard drive was just too slow. The Netgear ReadyNAS Pro is available now, September 19, 2008 at a list price that starts at $1,700 for the business edition with three 500GB hard drives. Street prices should be lower at your favorite online or retail merchant, and Netgear guarantees the ReadyNAS Pro for five years. Okay, let's start with the negatives. The only real negative that I can see of the Netgear ReadyNAS Pro is price. At $1,600 to $1,700 for the basic unit with three 500GB hard drives, that's a lot of cash. Even though prices will fluctuate depending on the market, there are plenty of alternatives out there and a couple of homebrew solutions that can do kind of the same thing for a fraction of the price. But what you have to figure into that price is our experience of the ReadyNAS line in general. This is the original NV Plus th that we got in episode 3, and it's been with us since that time. For two years, we've been banging on it, it's been brought around the world, it's been you know thrown into a box, and it's run perfectly. Not one single failure, and it still performs just as well today as it did when we first pulled it out of the box. We've got a slew, an entire rack of 1100s that form the backbone of the backup system for our production work with the techstop.net and with Gadget. And we've only had one hard drive fail out of eight arrays, and we were able to pop it out, plug in a new one, and have it recover exactly as advertised. Now, we have no reason not to believe that that same reliability and durability is going to transfer over to the ReadyNAS Pro because it's using the same operating system. Essentially, all Netgear has done is to up the hardware behind it, and well, that just is fantastic. Now, looking at this unit, not only is it expandable, not only is it durable, not only is it guaranteed to be around, but you know that Netgear is going to be around in 5, 10 years, and so, you know, that $1,700 all of a sudden doesn't really look like all that much if you are interested in the durability of your storage. Now, 
If you have a small to medium business, if you have a home office, if you have a lot of data that you need to have stored, and if you want a device that is expandable as you expand the needs of your applications, then right now there is no better choice than the Netgear ReadyNAS Pro. If you want to find out more about this unit, you can go to the Netgear website at www.netgear.com. You can also go to our website to read our full write-up at www.thetechstop.net. If you click on the Gadget tab, you'll be able to find all of our episodes in high resolution. You can also write us at gadget at thetechstop.net. Well, I've been your host, Father Robert Balliser. This has been the Center for Apostolic Technology. And remember, there's no Uber Geek without you. <laughs>